A race of dreaming immortals whose very emotions can ripple the very fabric of time and magic. Can you stand their emotions as their anger could burn all close by, or their happiness could make everything blossom like a flower, including you? Live your wildest dreams in your most horrid nightmares when you meet the Ilandar, a race of living dreams. The Ilandar are born when enough creatures or a nation has a singular dream around a particular idea or a particular event that had recently happened. For instance, an Ilandar can be born when a lot of people are dreaming about the prosperity and goodness that's happening to them because they're in a golden age for their empire. So an Ilandar will be born, and when they're born from a dream, they will work their hardest in order to achieve that dream. It will warp the very fabric of time and magic in order to fulfill and create that dream over and over again until it's reached its perfection. So, this is very good sometimes because let's say they all have a dream about happiness and love that they just had this huge festival. An Ilandar can be born in which they will then spring up during that festival time in order to ensure that all people are happy and having fun and are just enjoying themselves, which is amazing. But this also can be really bad as the Ilandar are born from all dreams, including the bad ones, which are nightmares. And an Ilandar can be born when enough people dream about some horrid event that happened, whether or not that was them losing a recent war against another uh, enemy and they're dreaming about their resentment and how much they want to destroy the other nation state for really destroying their entire way of life, or if enough people dream of a terrasse. These Ilandar will strive their hardest in order to create these nightmares make them come to fruition, which can be exceedingly dangerous, as sometimes what they'll do is, if let's say a nation state dreamed of a terrasque attacking them, okay, a nightmare Ilandar will be born, and it will then spawn an army of terrasques to fulfill their dreams of destroying the entire world, and only when the entire world is finally destroyed will that Ilandar finally find rest. There's an older group of Ilandar no, that were created from the first dreams of the first sentient creatures ever. And these Ilandar, because of the fact that those creatures didn't have as much creativity or there just wasn't enough of them, don't have anywhere near the amount of same power that the other Ilandar do that are more recently born. And because of this, when an Ilandar is born, these older Ilandar will try to reach out to it and try to teach it how to utilize its magic and its overall just power and try to coach it and teach it right and how to do all of that stuff. And this can be good because if they were to meet a dreamer Ilandar, which are Ilandar who are born of the beautiful and um, benevolent dreams of mortals, then that uh, Ilandar will share some of its strength with those older Ilandar and they will actually be able to have more power to fulfill their dreams as that Ilandar's dreams are flowing in through them through their magic. But this could also be really bad as a nightmare Ilandar or one that's spawned from nightmares would simply take all of their training and then destroy them all and rip out the very little bit of magical capability that they do have and use that in order to fulfill its nightmare, making it so much more powerful than the dreamer Ilandars or any other Ilandar that are around. Now, not many people know about the inner workings of the ancient Ilandar society, and it's very weird and cryptic, and the way in which it works is the younger Ilandar of, or the younger of all these ancient Ilandar are actually the leaders as they have more insight than the older ones due to the fact that they were spawned from dreams of much more mortals and they just have more power overall. So, and because of this, these places, these villages of Ilandars are literally walks of living dreams. If you step in here, unless you are an Ilandar or you're been giving the eyes of an Ilandar, you literally see either your dreams or your nightmares of whatever you dream of, about or whatever you want the most. And this causes you to see weird things and for you to perceive the world as not as what it is, but what it could be. Which, this can sometimes lead the Ilandar to mark their paths before they even allow people to come into their places, filling them with nightmares, in which you have to fight these phantasmal forces that don't exist, but to you absolutely do. And due to that, you just wind up driving yourself completely insane. Or sometimes the ancient Ilandars will make beautiful dreams that will hold you there and keep you captive for your lifetime as you don't want to leave these dreams. Alright Storyteller, I really hope you like the Ilandar. Uh, I know it's kind of a brief and quick one, but you know, I think that that's pretty cool. I like to have it more succinct and much more straight to the point. Nonetheless, if you really, really like the content that I have prescribed for you guys in, uh, in my YouTube channel, please feel free to like this video. It only requires a little bit of finger strength and it really helps me out a lot. And if you really, really like this video, please feel free to subscribe as I post new videos every single Saturday at 2.30 Eastern Standard Time, PM at nighttime, whatever that is. Anyways, that's when I usually post my videos in which I give you guys stories, uh, story ideas, monsters, and DM tips that you can then utilize for yourself. Also, 
uh, if you want to engage with me in a cool community of other storytellers, there is a link to my Discord down below. Just go down there, hop right in, jump into the Vagabond Workshop in which we sort of help each other workshop different ideas we're having for our campaigns, or go on over to the main general thread where we just talk about literally anything nerd. Like, we were talking about the uh, Astroneer game that's coming out and how it was on sale for stream and whatnot. Like, we're just a bunch, a group of nerds and a group of people who like to enjoy fantasy. So just join us over there. And if you really want to en uh, engage with a much more different, much more creative community, please hop on over to my Twitter, which I'll link right here, or down below, I should really say. And you can hop right over there and uh, try to answer monsters and try to give me ideas for my next and new videos. And if you want to check out some other monsters that I created, click right here, as this is a playlist of all the different creatures that I created in order and when I created them. And hop in those comments below and tell me whether or not you'd use those monsters, how you would classify those monsters, and whether or not you want to flesh them out a little bit more or want some stats on them. So, I again really hope you like this content today. And as always, in a world without fantasy, sometimes we need a little Dungeons and Dragons.